So, typical Florida fashion is pouring. I am on my way to go get some new water for my fish tank. Uh, it's time for its monthly water change. So, I'm gonna go pick up 25 gallons of water, bring it back to the house, do the water change, and then maybe go by the shop. Good news is, it stopped raining. Bad news is, the diesel needs diesel. So, golf's running low. It sucks. It like never happens. This thing is so good on, on gas mileage, it's like when it actually loses the gas war, I get upset. So anyway, I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm gonna drive it around until it literally is just sucking fumes. Cause that's what I usually do. And then I'll give in. Uh, so anyway, stopped raining, so I'm back now. Now I just gotta get all this freaking water into the house. Just a pain in the butt. But that's the only bad thing about this hobby. And I use that term really loosely because it's actually more work than it is hobby. So it's actually a job. But whatever. It's worth it. I like looking at the fish. I just hate carrying water. If anybody wants to carry this water for me, just, you know, come by. I'm not really into it. I better do it. Nobody else is going to do it. Here's some tools of the trade. Coolers. A trash can that's actually just for holding water. Anything in there? Yeah, just a siphon tube. On wheels, of course. That's how you move this water around. And then a plethora of buckets. And this stuff starts to get expensive too. So I don't get any ideas if you want to just haphazardly have a big fish tank. It ain't that easy. You gotta have gear. Then I got my freaking pile of filters that I throw out constantly. Get full of shit. This is the dirty side of this job. Empty the protein skinner out. I don't even know what's in there, but it's pretty nasty stuff because I think it kills grass. It's fun. I don't have much grass left anyway. In case you can't tell, I am procrastinating. I don't want to freaking carry this water in. What else can I talk about? I really don't want to go in. Ah, oh, well at least it's not raining. So, that's a plus. Okay, that's enough. I guess I will go bring in the freaking water. This is my mad face. All right, so I got the water, as you can see. This is gonna be about a 15% water change. And I'm gonna let this water sit here overnight to get the temperature, because it's actually a pretty warm water. It's probably 82, 83 degrees and tank temps down to 77. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna shock the fish and try and pour in more water. So I'm gonna let it sit overnight and got my power head so that I can pump the water uphill into the tank afterwards. So yeah, water change tomorrow. I'm gonna stir up as much dirt in this tank to get it all cleaned up. This is going to be uh, pretty fun for these guys when they see this cloud that's about to happen in here. But anyway, that's that. In the meantime, I, uh, I put together a little edit for the Roadster, for my blue Roadster. And um, I'm kind of working on it. I want to do like a, you know, something like a five minute feature or something. So I got about I think like two and a half or three minutes of it done. And uh, I'll share it with you guys. And you just let me know what you think. I might start doing them maybe once a month or something just on some cool cars that we get in the shop. But I figured I'd use the Roadster as a starting point just because it's always around and I love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and 
I'll work on doing a few more. As a kid, I knew that a car was more than just a car. I knew it had to be something special for me to drive it. I wanted a Ferrari. I wanted a Lamborghini. I wanted something Italian and red, fast and loud. Something that would annoy my neighbors. Something that my parents would warn me about every time I got in. Something that my friends would be jealous of whenever they saw me drive by. Well, this is not one of them. This is a 1990 Unos Roadster. This car screams against everything that is muscle, power, and high performance. But where it lacks in power, it makes up and delivers in crazy handling and race car feedback that you can only get from a package this small and this tight. In the 80s, this car represented something completely different than what was available anywhere else. It harked back to the British sports car days. The steering wheel is actually Momo equipment, and if you peel back the fancy Unos cover, you'll expose the Momo horn. With its tight shifter and its close ratio transmission, this car just screams high performance, even though it's only making 100 horsepower. Riding on NK RPF ones, this is the lightest wheel and tire combo that you'll see on one of these cars and it really helps to translate all of that information coming from the road. No AC on this car means no more problems with recharging and leaky systems so this is a, a, a pretty bare bones setup and the best part about the car is arguably its quirky pop-up headlights which suited its attitude almost perfectly. So that's what I got so far. As you can tell, I put a little bit of time into it. I just wanted to make it look good. Um, I used the drone and a couple of other angles just to, to play with it and see how, how I could get it to look and feel. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to like become top gear or anything, but I definitely wanna at least make something that's attractive to anybody who maybe doesn't watch the channel too often and it'll at least get them interested in what we're doing and show off what we're capable of. So, nothing too crazy, like I said. Just a, a little edit, just to show off the Roadster. It's a great car and I love it. And any cars that come across, I might do Dusty, I might do one for Dusty, I might do one for all my cars first and just kinda start to put them out there and then, uh, and they do take quite a bit of time to edit, so it's not like it's just a wham bam, put it together, post it type thing. So, you know, maybe once a month I'll, I'll just, splash one of those out there and see what people think of them and hopefully I can do some more for the cars that are coming in uh, anytime we get some cool cars from Japan maybe I'll throw one together and uh, yeah so let me know what you think and I'll do some more of them as time goes by maybe I'll do one for big boat and, you know some other stuff it doesn't have to be cars it'll be whatever I can muster up so 
anyway, uh, this week we've got a couple more cars coming. Um, nothing too crazy. Gonna do some more work on the white R32 that's in the shop right now. And uh, I might get that head stripped down so that I can get it ready to send off to the machine shop so we can chop it and start doing some stuff to the Roadster. A little more stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. We're done. We're done. That was horrific. Hit the like button. <laughs> That's excitement. One of these. Front finger. That's it.